Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Mikeyson, my God, man, look at that beautiful bandana you have on your head. That looks like a new, slick, sweet bandana. Well, it is. I have a bag of about probably 50 of them. People were getting me bandanas for a couple of years in a row for Christmas and birthdays and whatever. and So I, I got quite a few of them. This one here I just now broke out. It's so slick and so beautiful. Kind of kind of like me, you know, slick and beautiful. So, yes, I am in the gym. No, not the guy, but the place. <laughs> uh, let me fix my beard. Guys, it's been a rough day here. Uh, we had straight line winds or extreme winds or maybe tornadoes. I don't know through our whole county and I'm sure neighboring counties and everything else this is week number two and our power's only been been on for about the last hour and 15 minutes or so it's been out all day it went out about three o'clock this morning I couldn't get out this morning out of my out of my neighborhood because there was a tree across the road so it started out bad and uh, my boss let him know and so he sent someone out to pick me up and took me to the garage so I got another bus at the garage started my route so I was about 20 minutes 10 or 20 minutes behind schedule on that and uh, of course that throws your day off and then there's the fact that you got to go and clean up your yard and all the crap that's blown around and and uh, the trampoline I didn't know where the trampoline went and then finally I seen it over in a field uh, probably 400 th maybe 300 feet from our house probably one two probably about 400 feet from where it was behind the house somehow it blew around the house and ended up over in a field damn hip 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 ended up over in a field so it's all destroyed we got a few little branches and stuff like that down and uh, a piece of metal off the face shoal facing face board a uh, piece of metal or so off there not a big deal our mailbox was destroyed Obvi evidently when the torpedo I mean <laughs> trampoline went that direction it must have hit our mailbox and kept going because whenever I finally went outside this morning I noticed the mailbox was down and I noticed that uh, there was netting from the trampoline wrapped around it so uh, I assume that it uh, had a nice little tangle with the mailbox luckily the pole is still there and all I gotta do is get a new mailbox and stick it on the pole good strong sturdy metal pole so that's good uh, the whole county has had issues I had to back up down one of my roads and uh, that I that I do my bus route on I couldn't get by this morning there was a couple of trees that I went around a little bitty narrow road in the dark in the rain and then whenever I got to the end of that road where another road where it meets another road where I need to go there was a huge tree down with power lines just right there so I had to back up in the dark in the rain on a twisty little road with other little trees in the road uh, I had to back up probably oh maybe two two or three hundred feet or so and uh, not a huge problem but not something you want to have to do and it is raining again it stopped raining throughout most of the day and it started again later this afternoon Luckily, the power company got our power back on in our neighborhood. Uh, uh, they had to put at least one new pole and run wires, you know, lines and all that stuff. So, you know, hats off, hats off to the 
to the BPU Board of Public Utilities. BPU, yeah. Uh, so hats off to those guys. They're out there killing it. Man, I would hate to do that kind of work. Dangerous, dangerous work. So uh, I appreciate everything that they did. And, you know, hey, they got us our power back on, uh, you know, fairly quick considering the extreme mess that we have in our county. So, and we were just recovering from the tornado we had last week. And it was actually a tornado confirmed in pictures and videos and all that stuff. So, uh, which just hit really uh, just like east of our house. Uh, north, east, somewhere in there, whatever. I'm not great with directions. Uh, but yeah, didn't miss us by a whole heck of a lot even last week but uh and we seen it we seen the big main cloud go by actually standing out here looking that direction and you know we seen the big huge cluster of you know main clouds that housed the tornado go by so uh man we're having a rough spring guys and uh but anyway as of right now everything's okay Lots of people in the neighborhood with trees down and limbs down and, you know, uh, I've seen houses destroyed, I've seen buildings destroyed, I've seen Sonic and other businesses and that are, are hit and, uh, man, it's rough. <laughs> Not doing good these last couple of weeks or week, whatever you want to say, it was last week and then today, so, man. But, uh, yeah, needless to say, my day has been completely thrown off. I'm, uh, I didn't get a bike ride. I'm not going to get a walk, obviously, because it's still pouring down. And, uh, but I am going to try and get a, a little workout in. Now, I could put my bike on the bike trainer tonight, but I am not feeling it, guys. I mean, I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I've been going, dealing with this weird stuff all day and just the stress from it you know how you get once you're stressed out you're just like spent so that's kind of how i feel right now and even with my workout i'm probably not going to go heavy i don't really feel like going heavy Not feeling like going super heavy, guys. I'm going to do shoulders today. I'm going to do a little bit of shoulder activity. So, and I'm repurposing some old gloves that I wore, uh, that I got forever ago, uh, for, to ride my bike. <laughs> so, I'm just going to repurpose them and use them for working out. Because they're still in good shape. Um, I actually... Cut the fingers off way back whenever I got them. But uh, it's those mechanical, mechanics, whatever gloves, whatever the heck they are. I'm going to use them for my workout gloves, guys. So let's get a little bit of shoulder workout done and we'll talk a little bit more, okay? All right, good luck. Well, and also, I forgot, I helped my father-in-law next door. Uh, he had a big tree branch fall on his fence, so I helped him get that off there uh, so it didn't further damage the fence. Good-sized limb, too. Now, you know, guys, I said I wasn't going to go heavy, but a lot of times on days like this, whenever I say I'm not going to go heavy or not go stupid or try something or whatever, a lot of times those days are where I surprise myself and go ahead and do something, you know, a little, you know, above the norm. <coughs> not Corona. So... Yeah, I'm feeling a little froggy, so I'm going to grab the 80-pound dumbbells. <coughs> Whew. 
Whew. Whew. Those are big boys right there. Ay, ay, ay. This is the second time I've ever pressed 80 pound dumbbells. Uh, shoulder press. Hopefully it goes well. And just so you know, just handling uh, dumbbells that heavy is a workout. Literally makes you breathe hard. Whew. I can't believe I can do 80 pound dumbbell shoulder presses. That's crazy. Whew. That's insane, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if I keep doing well. I wouldn't be surprised if I don't try 100 pound dumbbells one day. There's no reason for me to do that. I'm not going for size, but I do go for challenges. You know, I don't mind challenging myself sometimes. You know, I can press, I can chest press, the 100 pound dumbbells. <clears throat> Shoulder pressing, that's another story. Now I've barbell pressed 245 pounds before uh, with the Olympic bar. I got proof of it, it's on video. Uh, years ago though, like maybe 2010 or so. So it's been a while. But uh, you never know, one of these days if I feel like I'm able and I'm capable, I, I might try the 100s, which would be stupid. There's no reason to do that. <laughs> so, uh, let's go back down the ladder. Let's do some 50s. Whew. All right, that felt pretty good. 30s, 40s, 50s, 80s, 50s, and 40s. So, I'm filming this video on Tuesday, uh, May 4th, but our internet is still out. So, I likely won't have this uploaded until uh, tomorrow. We'll do some easy bar presses. I only do 70 pounds right now. And then plus the bar probably weighs 20 pounds or so, maybe more, I don't know, probably about 20 pounds. Uh, so we'll do them the best we can here. Nice little workout. Hey, any workout that we can get is a nice workout. It's better than not doing anything at all. So keep that in mind, guys. Let's go and get another set in. All right, let's do some lat raises. And don't feel bad for going lightweight on side lat raises. They are a very hard exercise to do and they can also inflict damage on your shoulders. Rotator cuff, all that good stuff. And soft tissue problems like I experience as well. So uh, yeah, don't feel embarrassed if you're doing 20s or even 10s or 15s, who cares? You're not there to impress people, you're there to get a workout and uh, build some mind-body connection and enjoy yourself, right? <laughs> and
And whenever I'm doing side lat raises, I don't like to be completely just dead still. Uh, to me, that's just too much strain on your body and even your back. Uh, oddly enough as it sounds, uh, even with the 20s, uh, you want to have a little bit of little bit of motion in there, a little bit of little give so it's not so stiff and static, you know? That's my opinion. That's how I do them. So do another set, guys. I'm going to do one more exercise and that's going to be some dumbbell shrugs. And just like that, guys, you went on a little bit of an adventure. Just like that. So, yeah, that's what I got for you today. I'll give you a little bit of what happened today and a little bit of workout. And maybe I gave you a little bit of inspiration as well. Whew. Now, if I could inspire myself to get on the bike trainer. I don't see it happening though. Nah, I'm good. Guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out my playlist. It has pretty much all my videos in separate playlists. Find what you want. You can also scour through the video section and maybe find some stuff that's not in a playlist. But most things are in a playlist. Also, check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Like, share, subscribe to that, okay? Get me out there. Good, wholesome, decent YouTube channel. More people like myself need to be out there in the public, in the spotlight, uh, inspiring and uh, helping others to enjoy their lives, their days, uh, the small things to the big, all right? Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when being a boss and pressing them 80-pound dumbbells, pow! Stay safe out there, guys. We'll see you later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!